The Story of Carlos, Chapter 5. The next couple of hours became a blur for Carlos. Very soon the whole village seemed to be standing outside his door. Then even more people came, then others. Word was spreading to the surrounding villages that the new king had come. Carlos was dressed in the finest clothes and many people were clamouring to bring him gifts. They were bowing low and bringing him present upon present. It was quite a new experience for someone who had never received a present in his life. Apart, that is, from his stuffed rabbit. The elders of each of the villages were called and came to stand before Carlos. They all agreed that he was the rightful king. They could not deny the birthmark. And furthermore, most of them remembered the old king and said that Carlos looked just like him. They were prepared to make Carlos king in an official ceremony. He could live in the best houses. They apologised for not being able to let him live in the castle, but the masked men had captured it the same night that Carlos's parents were killed. Carlos listened carefully. He knew that he would be able to live the rest of his life having whatever he wanted with servants and gifts and nice clothes and lovely food. But he also remembered the monks who had taken care of him and also his friends. And of course, there was the fact that these masked men had killed his parents and were now living in his castle. He had been rescued, but he was going to become the rescuer. He told the elders of each village what he wanted to do. They looked very nervous. But how could they disobey their king? They each summoned their fighting men and made their way to fight against the masked men. They marched all day and camped outside the castle at dusk. The night was spent listening to the jests and jokes from the masked men who stood on the battlements. Clearly, they didn't think that Carlos's army was a threat at all. The following morning, Carlos's men prepared for battle. They stood in battle formation and awaited orders. The masked men, instead of staying in the castle and waiting for the attack, opened the drawbridge and charged. Carlos was amazed. The masked men were so confident of victory that they didn't even fight from their castle. Carlos gave the order to charge, but the masked men were indeed superior warriors. They chopped men down from their lofty camels. They devastated Carlos's army. Then, after wiping out more than 100 men, they returned to their castle and once again stood on the battlements, laughing and joking about Carlos's men. Carlos didn't know what to do. He became angry with himself. How could he have thought that he could gain the victory over such superior forces? How could he have been so full of pride? He picked up his little stuffed rabbit and hurled it at a nearby rock. But instead of thudding, the rabbit toy made a rattling sound. Carlos walked over and examined the rabbit more closely. He felt deep inside and sure enough, there was something hard in there. He cut a small hole at the bottom of the stuffed rabbit and rummaged until he pulled out an iron key. He stared at it. He could see that some of the others were staring at it too. One of the eldest men walked up and looked at the key. He smiled. Carlos, you have the key to the castle. Carlos couldn't believe it. He prepared his men for ambush and deep into the night they crept into the castle. The masked men were brave warriors, but they were so sure of their safety inside the castle that they slept without guards. Carlos's men took them all without a fight. His friends were freed. Many of them stayed and lived in the castle with Carlos, while the monks returned to their monastery. The rescued had become the rescuer. And that's the end of the Carlos story. <laughs>